Welcome back to my channel. It's been more than a week since I uploaded a new video, but before I jump right into today's vlog, I just want to say a big thank you for those all of you who have been supporting and watching my videos up until now. I'm so sorry for being inconsistent in regards to uploading new videos because it's been two weeks since I resumed my teaching job at my school here in Japan. Remember that it is my great pleasure to upload a new video as much as I could to entertain you guys amidst the current happening in our world right now. This channel is my other outlet to practice my hobby and passion in vlogging and photography. I hope you will continue joining me in this journey as I tell you my personal experiences as an ALT living in Japan. Last year, there was a 10-day golden week in Japan. Therefore, I had an opportunity to travel somewhere outside Shizuoka Prefecture. In today's vlog, I want to show you guys my first day in Osaka during my 3-day adventure together with my buddy, Yuki. On this trip, we took the train heading to Osaka for 6 hours. We did not take the bullet train as we want to enjoy the scenery of the places where the regular train passes by. We were able to relax while inside the train. As soon as we arrived in Osaka, we decided to grab our lunch at one of the local restaurants near the Osaka station. Then, we headed to our first destination. The first destination of our itinerary on this day was the Omeda Sky Building. Since the children's day was coming up, there were koinobori hung outside the building. On the 39th floor of the building, we purchased our ticket worth 1,500 yen per person. It was worth the price because we were able to see the panoramic and breathtaking view of Osaka. Viewing the sunset at this location was one of the best experiences so far. Within the building, there is a souvenir shop which is full of sweets and goods. Most foreign visitors or even the local ones buy exclusive items at this shop. In the evening, we headed to the Tongbori. The place is packed with people and the city lights made the atmosphere more joyous and exciting. Of course, for our dinner, we got the infamous Osaka Takoyaki. Our stomach couldn't get over how good this takoyaki was.
To continue our food trip that evening, we want to try the best tasting okonomiyaki. It is a savory shredded cabbage pancake filled with meat, seafood, mushroom, mountain yams, and many more. After roaming around the area, we found this restaurant called Hozenji Sampe. This is a tiny restaurant located at the discreet alley at Dotomboi. I think that's the reason why it's the other way around. I'm sorry. But it's fun. This restaurant is famous for the fluffiness of their okonomiyaki and fresh ingredients. It was so fun to mix your yakisoba on this pan. It felt like I immersed myself into an anime featuring authentic Japanese food. That's all for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. Part 2 and 3 will be posted real soon. Mina, Hontoni Arigato Zaimas. Mata ne?